Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and this is the review of the D-Link AC1900 Mesh Wi-Fi Range Extender. On the box, some of the features include dual band wireless AC1900, basically meaning that you get plenty of bandwidth for HD streaming, online gaming and downloading. You've got gigabit Ethernet or Ethernet ports, which can be used for AP mode. You can add wireless connectivity to computers games consoles and smart TVs or you can add Wi-Fi to a wired network. And of course this does work with your standard Wi-Fi router. You don't actually have to have a D-Link one, you can have whatever one you like. In the box we have the device itself, we have the power adapter, an Ethernet or Ethernet cable, as well as quick install guide and warranty documents. Before we go into this let's talk a bit more about the ports that are on it, what it looks like, the dimensions and things like that just to give you an overall feel for the design. We have four gigabit ethernet ports, a WPS button, a power connector as well as a power button. On the top of it we have what seems to be ventilation, basically vents in the top to allow airflow to pass through, keeping the device cool. It also adds to the aesthetic of it makes it look very modern and sleek, I quite like it. Further on down about halfway we have the status or status LED light. This is roughly towards the centre of the device but kind of on one of the corners going down halfway. This will be where you have your error lights and your green for good and just the status light so you can see what the device is trying to do at a particular time just by glancing over and looking at the status or status LED. On the bottom we also have some ventilation holes around the edges, as well as a couple of feet to keep it firm on your desk. There's two rubber feet and there's also two plastic feet that are carved out of the edges kind of thing. So it looks like a, two bits of rubber have been placed on each side, as well as an actual moulding into the design to make the other two feet. Doesn't really make sense, why wouldn't they have just put four rubber feet on? Hey, it does the job, it does the job well. I'm trying to think, in terms of size, what you could compare this to. It looks kind of like a... I'm trying to... I'll just hold it in my hand. So each surface of this, so each face of this D-Link device, is about the size of one of those iPhone Pro Max devices with the massive screens. And then obviously stick a bunch of those around it, and you get your rough size, at least the height anyway. You kind of put it on your desk and it's it kind of fits in with that networking environment design so it looks like all the other network devices like a router and a access point similar sort of white design to keep it kind of out of focus and in the corner with all your other components it doesn't stand out in a way of an eyesore it definitely looks like a modern piece of kit rather than one that is slightly aging because hey this was designed very recently and made for the modern world, not back then. Okay, I'm going to explain the long and arduous process of setting this up on the network and getting going with this extender. Step one, download the D-Link Wi-Fi app on your Android or Apple device. Launch the application. Connect to the D-Link network that's associated with this device. Follow the steps. Link it to your current Wi-Fi setup allow it to configure, wait for the status or status light on the front to confirm that everything looks good, look on your phone and make sure it says good to go, and that's it. There's no hidden tricks with this, it really is as simple as downloading an app, connecting to it, and then once you're connected to this on the app, you connect to your connection that you want it to use, done. That's it. Don't expect me to go through and go, I oh, need to go to here and press yes and allow, because you don't need that explanation in this video. All you need is a wireless router, an available power socket, the D-Link Wi-Fi app, and an iPhone or Android, and obviously the device. Plug it in, connect to it with the app, connect to your network, allow it to configure, walk away and enjoy your extended Wi-Fi range. 
please make sure to remember that you need to allow your phone full access to network and this Wi-Fi, because otherwise you might get the odd error here and there, meaning the app can't reach certain hardware on your phone, i.e. the Wi-Fi. So just make sure your permissions on your phone are all good, and you will be all good too. I then used this device for roughly, I'd say a good 48 hours of constant usage, obviously not the whole time, but using it for transferring files to a NAS drive that was on the same network, also doing downloading from the internet, testing the speeds on there, and I didn't notice any degradation in performance, which is absolutely brilliant, because I'm not looking for this to be an amplifier to my network, I'm just looking for it to extend what I already have, and it did that job perfectly well. Once you've got it all set up and ready to go, you can obviously use it for your Wi-Fi extension, but you can also use those 4 gigabit Ethernet or Ethernet ports on the back as a mini switch. So you can plug an Ethernet cable in or Ethernet from the device into a laptop and surf the web and you're on your own network. And you're basically wirelessly connected but using a wire, if that makes sense. I'm sure it does. If I had to think of some negatives just to give a fair review, it would probably be these two. One, the D-Link Wi-Fi app, although fully functional and does the job every time, it does feel a little dated. Although I'm not asking for it to be completely overhauled because why try to fix something that isn't broken? It would just feel a bit nicer to have more sharper images and an easier to read interface and just bring it into 2021 instead of it being like every other app out there. It's very basic. The percentage done in terms of configuration seems a bit bland. But hey, if that's all I have to complain about, then we're doing okay. Apart from that, maybe the design-wise, it could kind of be compressed down to a cube size rather than having this kind of rectangle brick in the corner of your room or your house. It feels like if it can be that compact, why not break it down into a little cube and then you can kind of tuck it away without any problems. It's nitpicking, I know. It doesn't affect it in any way. It's just if I was to come up with a design myself, I would try and make it more of a smaller cube than a brick shape. Doesn't affect function. Doesn't affect the look of it. It's just personal preference. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with more of an overview of the D-Link AC 1900 mesh Wi-Fi range extender. There wasn't too much to talk about because it's not overly complex and very easy to use. And if you're looking to extend the range of your current network and also add maybe some other components on it, because obviously with the little switch you've got on the back, you can do just that wirelessly, then please really consider this from D-Link. I've used a few D-Link products now and I have to say they haven't let me down yet. If you have any questions about this device, please leave it as a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks a lot.